Husband is the head of wife, not head of house, head of wife. That means wife has no right to do anything that the husband did not agree. I'll teach. I'll teach. I'll teach. I say I'll teach. Husband, you are not the head of a house. You are the head of a... You are the head of wife. So wife cannot be doing things that you have not approved. Are you with me? How many wives? Because they earn more than their husband, they will not listen to their husband. They will not listen. They will not listen to the husband, but they will come and make noise. <laughs> and falling everywhere. Stop falling. Stop praying. God will not hear that prayer. Now men can see it's a good place. The man has been set to be the head of the wife, not the house, the wife. Because you can be the head of the house you are claiming and you are not the head of the wife. She does what she wants. And most men who are claiming these things, they got it. They are the head of the house, but not the head of the wife. So the wife decides what she wants, what she feels, what she will do, what she... Because men, you claimed the place that God never gave you. Wife, if you want God to hear your prayers, remember the husband is your head. Your husband is your head. Your husband, do not marry a man that you are not willing to follow. Because the moment you do, God will make him your head. If you despise your husband and then you pray, you are wasting your energy. If you are screaming, shouting at your husband, pointing fingers, you are pointing fingers. The Bible says, wife, submit to your husband in all things. This confusion hinders so many prayers in home, so many prayers. People are praying in their families, but in disorder. They live in disorder. They live in bitterness of heart. You want God to answer your prayer, wife, honor your husband. And I've always tell you how wife here. Where God has put a man in the place where Christ is to the church. You will not dare any day of your life scream at Christ. Dare not to scream at your husband. Husband, you should be saying amen. This is a rescue mission I'm trying to bring in. Because we have so many, and you know, it is so, it's so confusing that unfruitful homes and marriage are in the church. And the reason is that those in the world, they know, if I trouble this guy, the next time you go get Susan. You that knows, you will not go anywhere. You now make his life hell. This one, this one. I wish I was married to come. The Bible says, even your body, wife, your body is not you. You can't keep it from him when there's a need for you. He will not hear your prayers if you don't hear what I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you your Bible. Just in case you didn't open it and read. Say, I hear you, sir. Thank you. Husband, you are the head of the wife, not the house. Okay, sir. So meaning that my sister cannot do what she wants according to God. She must submit to the headship of the man. What if you have opinion? What if he's the one going in the wrong way? Let me tell you, every man will hear you if you speak it with respect. Every man, every man, it is the tone you use, hence they don't hear you. The tone. 
You want to speak in intimidation. You want to make sure they hear you. No, you are not taught. You are not. Oh, let me even tell you this. Some of the troubles we have is that some of our sisters here, we did not even have a proper home to learn these values. We, in other words, we didn't see how our father, a good father, treated their wives, which is your mother. So you don't know who is the husband. You think husband is a young brother. Since you have the sharper voice, he's going no. He must now. You are even trying to tell him when you talk, do you know you are talking like a woman? If your husband raised the voice, trying to raise it above you, my sister, you are gone. There will be no need of any man raising his voice if you know your place. No, there's no need. There's no need. If you just know that this man is the head, I have my own view, but you, how you present it is always the matter. Not what you are saying, how you are saying it. You now wonder why God doesn't answer these prayers? Because of this confusion. He told your husband, treat your wife correct so that your prayers should not be answered, should not be hindered. And wife, honor your husband. Submit your husband. Otherwise, also your prayers will not be answered, or rather, it will be hindered. I hear so many marriage counseling that people go to where they train, they train their husband to listen to the wife. Fallacy, not Bible. Wife must listen to the husband, not the other way around. Say amen. I teach you the word of God. Oh, if you want to. Have a good marriage, husband. 18 ways to know the desires of all. Oh. I told you, I stop using good messages. I teach what truth. All these nice, good, quoted messages. And now I, I left them. Mm. I just opened the Bible and teach what it says. Husband, wife, honor husband. If your husband is not sensitive to your feeling, if you are a wise woman, you make him sensitive. If you are unwise, you make it worse because you are knocking instead of presenting your feeling. If you compete, you know, this is why some women, you are in the marriage, the husband doesn't see your beauty again. The beauty of the wife is not on the face, it's in the heart. The beauty of the woman is not on the makeup, it's in the heart. That your face was a donation of the genes of your mother and father but the heart, your heart is the work you have done you can't keep the marriage because the face is correct, the heart must be correct I am the most beautiful one you did nothing to have that face you did, you did absolutely nothing that face is just a donation that came from the gene of your mother and your father and you have that face this is why also husband remember if you want to marry don't go for the face these sisters they did nothing to their face it was given to them go for the heart because the heart that's the work they did I teach you. you want God to answer your prayers wife know your place know your place these walls and storms in our homes must end Know your place. Know your place. Know your place. You do pick up, he doesn't see. You put on a new dress, he doesn't see. And you wonder if he doesn't compromise, uh, uh, compliment you on all these things. Because you are not aware that the beauty of the wife is not the face, it's the heart. When the heart is, the heart is wrong, whatever you do to that man will be wrong. you are pushing men outside your own homes you are pushing them with all your might because of the treatment you are giving them God will judge these are interests to prayer do not ignore them 